All right, I'm still getting after it. Um, the viewer Stephen Davis. I don't remember the numbers associated at the end of that uh, username, but S Stephen Davis, I believe. Appreciate a comment, man. I don't get bent around the axle about much. Um, uh, it is what it is. And even if I do, I realize it's, it's YouTube. You put your business out there, um, people are going to make comments, and it's their, it's their opinion. So, yeah, I don't get bent around the axle about stuff like that. Not to say I don't get bent around the axle, but it's not worth my time. Um, and then, uh, I mean, L Cool J, I believe. And again, I don't remember the number. Uh, 1821, I believe. Uh, yeah, I, for tools, I don't go shopping online anymore. If I need a tool, I just go in my garage and I go shopping for it, meaning I go searching for it. I got a lot of tools, so. Yeah, occasionally there's stuff, like, there's this one tool that I'm gonna probably grab from the smoke, uh, the smoke shop here, Smoke Pro folks, uh, red line detection. Um, I'm gonna grab a tool. Uh, it's an adapter for the smoke machine. Um, I'm gonna go grab that um, from them. And it's like simple stuff like that I can um, that I can use. That I I know that you heard me say it before. I don't buy tools because I immediately have a use for it. I buy tools because I know the purpose of it, right? And it's only a matter of time before I use it or help somebody else, and that works for me. But I'm also not buying a crazy amount of tools anymore. But anyway, uh, progress, progress, progress. All right, this is still here. Uh, move the books. The books are gone. And these uh, Klein Torx and stuff. I know people don't really like T-handle stuff. A lot of people say motorcyclists and stuff. I don't mind it. If this is the only thing I need to use and it works, it works. Um, I don't need to grab like a, a socket set or something or the Tecton set, you know, it's already built in a handle in there. So the books are gone. Uh, what else is gone? The little, um, I'll show you. So here, I mean, I mentioned earlier, I absolutely do not like um, boxes like this. I've kind of grown to not like it because it just, you know, you can't really use the surface for much without locking all this stuff in here. So got that, all the books are in there. Um, my Haynes manual, my, you know, all the, these little manuals that, um, like the hub grappler, the ball joint, the fuel injector service and kit, which I still need to, to do and figure out how to do. I'm not gonna claim that I knew, know how to do it. Um, my TL service manual and my Tacoma service manual and I keep track of my own maintenance records because I do my own maintenance. So this is all these books and actually I have one for the house and uh, three for cars, but I need to grab a couple more because I've grabbed, I have more stuff in my arsenal. Uh, hair and protection, um, it's all that's important. So I'm gonna leave this stuff accessible right here. And then uh, you never know when you're gonna have an oopsie moment. Um, whether it's the kids just playing or me here in the garage working with something, you know, I might have to bandage myself up. Hopefully not, but at least it's in there. I uh, think with this space right here, yeah, I don't want to lock all these books in, but at least I know the only thing back here is books. Um, I got my old tablet here, but the top is magnetic. Um, and so I can't put it right there, even though it'll fit because do this motion and do that motion. Well, it's going to magnetize to it. So I just put it right here. Um, I think I'm going to put my torque wrenches here. I have several torque wrenches. Um, some are here. I use these more than anything else. Not these uh, Tecton click style ones anymore that much, but these, uh, at least this uh, half inch gear wrench, I use it for wheels. Um, but I'm going to get rid of that. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about getting rid of low molded cases, especially not using them. So there we go. That just freed up some space, and I can put something else in here. In fact, how about we just put the hood prop at the bottom? Because so yeah, there we go. Like I don't plan to throw away these uh, these blow molded cases. Like I said, I'm just gonna put them in a big cardboard box going to go to my storage so wherever i can save space i will um and then these have been up here so i'm gonna put this i'm gonna try to put this in there 
Um, and then these torque wrenches are, are gonna get put in there. These are all like empty cases and or torque wrenches that are in them. And then I got like a couple right there. So between the books and the torque wrenches for how much I actually use them, I think that's a great place to store them. They're not getting bounced around, you know, potential of falling down. Like that one is like hanging off precariously. Um, so the fact that they'll be more accessible, I'm gonna put them right here. And then when I need to get to my, my manuals for whatever reason, if YouTube can't help me, then I'll just put my torque wrenches here, grab my manual, and then it's just, just, just make and do really. That's what it is. Um, it's not, I try to stand these books upright and it's just, they're too tall um, for the lid to close on. I wanna be able to close the lid so I can put these little RC cars back up there. Um, so it is what it is. Stuff is gonna get blocked is, I mean, it, it is what it is, but the books, you know, I don't really use them all that often, but when I need to, I will pull them out. So torque wrenches here. Um, and we'll go from there. Heck, I might be able to put this. Nah, it's not gonna fit. We'll see if I can do something with that. So I can just put all the torque wrenches right here. And then that's gonna free up this drawer right here. Like I said, um, we're gonna reposition some stuff. A lot of stuff is gonna get uh, repositioned. And like I said, initially when I set, did the setup, it was just like, let me just put stuff away and it worked. But um, yeah, it's not the most efficient setup. Um, since we're over here, um, just talk wrenches real quick. You know, I did a toolbox store and well, here's a, um, a second one of these Harbor Freight Pittsburgh wrenches. So keep finding duplicates of stuff because uh, here's here's one. So I got two of these bad boys. Um, so I don't really have a space for it there. I don't want to start setting stuff on, on top of stuff. There's not a space for it over here. So this bad boy is going to live somewhere else. But the point I was going to make is that I, I believe I counted 11 or 12 you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There were 12 set of wrenches buried under here. And this was my go-to set of wrenches, this Tecton set. I always came in here and dug around. So I'm gonna get this organized, um, you know, get rid of all these cases. I'm not certain all the wrenches are gonna fit, but I wanna try to make most of them fit. So that's the, that's the plan, you know, that I'm gonna do, get this next. Um, get that next and then move some torque wrenches. In fact, I'll probably move the torque wrenches right now just to see how that looks. Um, not sure what I'm gonna put in this drawer yet, but we'll figure out as I go. I mean, I got wrenches on the floor and I know I got some in here. So crazy amount of wrenches. Like I said, um, I am my own tool store. I got everything that I could potentially need and uh, Someday, someday, I'll start using them more often because it'll be fun to just tinker around and do stuff. Um, um, you don't hear me harping on brands um, as much as I have the tools. I mean, I, I might mention the brand, but you don't hear me uh, harping on a lot of brands, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna keep pumping out these videos until uh, Mr. Toolbox Tour releases his uh, Saturday morning video, and then that will take over for regular scheduled programming. Anyway, as me always say, like and I hit a ting.